Um, we, we also have one more change in addition to the program this year. And this will be a first for Progress Iowa. We have never given an award before at any of our events, but tonight we are going to recognize one of our now former board members who will be retiring at the end of the year. She, uh, Marcia Nichols, has been described. <laughs> yep. You can join me up here, but I have a few things to say first, so yeah. Okay. Um, Marcia has been described as a force of nature, a friend, an advocate, and someone you always want in your corner. Uh, I would agree with all of those sentiments, and even though she's retiring, it does not seem like that word retiree will, will apply. Um, all of these words used to describe her are true, but none of them quite capture just how remarkable she is. Tirelessly advocating on behalf of Iowa's working families, and in addition to that, going above and beyond, taking on fights that might not always have to do with, with her day-to-day -day work. But when someone would ask her, well, why are you doing this? She would just respond and say, because it's the right thing to do. For more than 24 years, Marsha has been part of the labor movement, doing what's right and making a difference. It was shortly after I started with Progress Iowa that I that I realized just how lucky I was to have Marsha Nichols in my corner. I'd be calling, recruiting people to, to attend a meeting or event, and they would ask me, well, who's, who's, who's gonna be there? And when I said, well, Marsha Nichols, all of a sudden they say, oh, and they perk up. Wow. And, and, un <laughs> <laughs> and they would remark that that's great that you have Marsha so personally involved. She's just, I quickly realized that she is just the kind of person who will elevate the room that she's in. Now, Marsha's parents got involved in politics when John F. Kennedy ran for president. Her dad was a union member at the, at the Veterans Hospital, and he took her to all his union events. She has said that that's how she first got the bug to get involved and joined the Young Democrats when she was 14 in Marion County. So in, in, in a fitting way, she has helped so many young progressive leaders catch that same bug, to stand up for and fight for what we believe in by taking them under her, under her wing and supporting their careers. So Marsha, many of those young people are here tonight, including myself, and so many more owe you a big thank you. So tonight, we are proud to present the first annual Marsha Nichols Progressive Advocate Award. <laughs> named, <laughs> na named in your honor to be presented each year to an outstanding advocate for progressive values. So Marsha, thank you for all that you've done. like to ask that the one requirement be that the person that gets this next time is younger than I am. <laughs> um, and I see a lot of you out there that um, worked for me and I see Senator Hatch and I've got to tell a little story because um, Senator Hatch was really the first progressive person I knew in my young life. I was young back then, Jack, you remember. Um, and I mean, he, he, <laughs> and we still are, aren't we? Yeah. But uh, he was running for Congress. Is that right, Congress? Yeah. And uh, I had a fundraiser at my house for him, and he was talking about how ironically the very issues that we're talking about today. And so I just wanted to recognize you, Jack, because you really helped me understand uh, a lot of the progressive issues that are so in my soul today. So thank you. And uh, and I don't know 
know if Jim Kottmeyer is here. I just want to say one thing about Jim Kottmeyer. Is he here? No, but Jim Kottmeyer had called me four or five years ago and said, hey, I got this great idea. Let's start a Progress Iowa. And I said, hey, I got this great idea. Let's not. <laughs> Gee, many Christmas, we don't need another meeting to go to. Right, Melissa? Right, Morgan? Mark Langan, where are you? Anyway, so, so um, Jim Kottmeyer basically talked me into it. Matt came on the scene. And let me tell you something. This guy is unbelievable. Just unbelievable. So... The moral of the story is don't say no too quickly. Thanks, Matt. <laughs>